morning class, I'm Will Kemp from Will Kemp Art School and I'd like to introduce you to this video on impressionistic seascapes. It's a three part video for absolute beginners using very simple instructions, a real step by step guide. We look at techniques to do with watercolour and more impasto oil painting techniques and how acrylics fits in between the two. We'll be starting off just with two colours, burnt umber and ultramarine blue and showing you how important it can be to get a real grounding in your painting, a real tonal range, so you can start to judge everything from that initial setup. The second video will show you how to get more blend in your acrylics to get clouds that really look really cloud-like. And we'll look at how important it is to have that underlying classical painting technique so when you add that real punch of bright vibrancy of colour, all of a sudden your painting just comes together. It seems in an instant, but all the work we've done building up to that stage is where the real skill and the real technique of learning how to paint in acrylics comes from. The final video will look at using a fuller palette, a fuller range of colours, and how you can get more variety and tones in your painting. So in the painting, we look at how you can build up thin layers of paint in the foreground, getting reflections of water, using thicker impasto colours on top of that. How you can get a really nice, smooth blend in your sky to really make it feel like it goes into the distance. And how we can use optical mixing and glazes to bring forward areas of warm colour, bringing your eye forward, and then having the cooler blues in the background, sending your eye deep into the distance. This can be really effective in your painting, and we use different brushes but only two brushes for the entire painting, a round brush and a filbert brush. This brush that we use is usually traditionally used for oil painting, but I want to show you how that when you're first starting, the brush isn't as important as you might think. It's more just getting used to working with the pigment, working it very thinly and then thickly, and how you can work the two together so well with acrylics. They're all interlinked, they all work together, and for anyone that's been wondering how they can get on with acrylics and want to use it in a more painterly style, this is the perfect starting point. So let's go on a painting journey together, grab a brew, grab some couple of paints, that's all we need, two colours, two brushes, it couldn't be simpler, and we can really get you started in acrylic. That's often the biggest stumbling block that you just don't get going with it. I think you'll be really surprised at the quality of painting that you can produce just by following this simple guide.